All right, well, here we go with another one. And this guy is located conveniently in Black Diamond. It's a two bedroom, one bath. It's uh, built in 1920s. Roof is definitely at the, close to the end of life, anyway. Um, structure seems to be decent. It does have brick there in the, in the foundation, it looks like. Got some growth here. Should be a very easy cleanup. Here's a backyard neighbor. It's very peaceful. This is uh, in town in Black Diamond, incidentally. Um, again, you might have some structure issue as far as like code goes for this little porch. It looks like they converted this from a porch and just kind of enclosed it in. So uh, I, I suspect that some of the support here is gonna have to be redone, but it should be easy for someone who knows what they're doing. And there you go, just give you a little view here. Okay, basement. Oh, I didn't even say it. It's Mike with New To You Real Estate LLC, baby. Anyway, I had to get that out. So we're in the basement right now. I can see the video is moving real slow. It's trying to adjust. Anyway, I think you get the sense, All right? And now we turn toward here, there's the systems. It's a new water heater. And there's what we got for heat. Fairly new, as you can see. So I'm not too concerned about that. While you're plumbing, it's actually very warm down here in the basement. Got a little work area set up here. So uh, good enough, I'm not gonna go further back. It gets a little dark. So we'll work our way into the house. <clears throat> right, here's a side view of the house too. You want to know? There we go. Okay, let's get in. So you got a little fence here that surrounds. And we got some stairs up. Nice little siding. The window is going to have to be uh, updated as well. The red door. And you come in here. So we got laminate floors. Big windows, though. It's kind of nice, huh? Let's a lot of light in. Uh, the rooms are awkwardly shaped. I don't even know what to make of this room. Uh, this closet right here, it's not deep at all. Uh, you couldn't even hang clothes in there. The hangers would be butting against the door. Oh, there we go. That makes it a little better. And then here, it looks like they did the same kind of concept they did with the back porch. It looks like they just kind of enclosed a section of this end. Uh, here's some of the supports right here. And you can feel the temperature difference even just walking in. All right. You walk down here. Kitchen right here off to the right. As you can see, it's a work in progress. Okay. Here's the inside of the porch that I showed you from the backyard. Tile floors, got some leaking going on. Anyway, I don't think it's catching what I'm trying to show you guys. It's just not pulling in light. There we go, let's get it centered. You guys see that now? Okay. So there's some mold up there. It's minor. Okay. But anyway, something to be aware of. Again, the windows, French doors, out to the porch. Um, the kitchen's actually a nice size. The cabinets are great. Uh, they have gas to the property that's been plumbed in. So that's pretty cool. A lot of good positive sides to this house. Uh, bathroom's a little strange. There we go. So, washer dryer would go here. I think about moving it. I don't know what they were thinking here, but anyway, tub's gonna have to be replaced because this is a hole or patched, whichever. Okay. 
And then this would be the second bedroom, bedroom number two. I think it would be easy enough to work with the space that you have here uh, to actually squeak in a third bedroom. But one way or another, this is actually a great investment in value uh, for the money. And uh, anyway, you know how to reach me. You can reach me, Mike, M-I-K, at N-T-Y-R-E-L-L-C dot com. Or you can email me, again, at homesllc at live dot com, 360 Two zero four six four four seven. Thanks again, guys.